reproduction sexual reproduction hydra reproduces sexually by the fusion of gametes generally in autumn gonads develop temporarily from interstitial cell of epidermis which accumulate to form bulges in the body wall hydra is a hermaphrodite species even though self fertilization is avoided because it is protenderous means spermatozoa and ova mature at different times testes testes are conical outgrowth of body wall varying in number from a few to many they are generally situated near the oral end of body testis is formed by cell division of interstitial cells of epidermis they get covered from outside by a capsule formed of large epidermal cells interstitial cells at the base are spermatogonia they undergo usual spermatogenesis developed primary spermatocyte secondary spermatocyte and spermatid stages become spermatozoa or sperm spermatozoa has a head and a long vibratile tail when mature sperms are discharged by the rupture of testis wall at its apical nipple like knob ovaries ovaries develop a little later than testis these are ovoid structures located near the basal end of body ovary is also formed by the multiplication of interstitial cells which constitute the primary oogonia but after some time one centrally located cell called oocyte becomes larger and amoeboid with a big nucleus a nourished upon its smaller neighboring interstitial cells which become yolk or reserve food to be used up later while young hydra is still without a mouth to feed as a result oocyte increases greatly in size it undergoes two maturation divisions resulting in the production of two polar bodies and reduction of chromosomes to haploid number mature egg or ovum is a large spherical mass full with yolk granules one ovary usually contain a single ovum but rarely there are found two or more when an egg is ripe the epidermis over it ruptures and withdraws to form a cup like receptacle containing the exposed egg ovum is not set free at once but remains attached to the parent by a large base fertilization ripe sperms discharge from testes swim about in water until they approach in ovum and surround it numerous sperms may enter the gelatinous covering but only one enters the ovum and fuses with it this process is called fertilization and the fertilized egg is called zygote development the development of zygote begins soon after the fertilization while the zygote is still attached to the parent by undergoing cleavage blastulation gestulation encystation and hatching the embryo elongates and a circlet of tentacles bud develop at one end with a mouth appearing in their midest as embryo increases in size the shell ruptures and a young hydra with tentacles hatches out rapidly it grows into an adult there is no free larval stage in the development of hydra